Jason. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're glad that you're here. A great crowd here. Quick round of applause for your Golden Gophers. We're going to see uniforms coming up here in just a second. For those of you who don't recognize me, my name is Mike Grimm. I'm the radio voice of Gopher Football and Basketball. You hear me on Saturdays on KFAN for football and uh, during the winter here on Basketball on ESPN 1500. So uh, now you've got a face to, uh, to the voice. And we have a special presentation coming up. We're going to have all of the uh, uniforms. We're gonna, we have about eight players back there that are currently getting dressed and ready, and they'll come out with uh, full gear on, with uniforms and the brand-new looks, and there's a bunch of different designs. As a part of this program as well, coming up a little later on, uh, we have uh, Coach Kill will be here. Uh, we're not sure if he'll be here in time to come up and talk, but he'll be able to shake a few hands, we think. He's got some things going with recruiting and all kinds of stuff, so he's a busy man this time of year. Uh, and we have a couple of assistant coaches who will also uh, be here at some point yet today. But the big deal, of course, is the uniforms. And we, before we uh, bring them out as they continue to get ready and get dressed, we want to just give you a little history of uniforms. There's uh, just a few programs in the nation that uh, can boast some of the tradition that we have here and unique colors and unique designs of uniforms over the years uh, at the University of Minnesota. Uh, gopher football uniforms have changed throughout the years, as you all know. Uh, there were the white-numbered helmets back in the Warmath era with some national championships. The all-gold combination you see in pictures, and some of you probably saw in person with Tony Dungy back in the 1970s. And the style that we're going to see today kind of pays homage. You'll notice it's a very traditional look, and we'll let you judge for yourself, but a very traditional look with some of the modern, uh, fancy, new techno technology look as well. And uh, we'll uh, be excited, I think you'll be excited to see those as they go with the helmets later on as well. Once we have uh, introduced all the different combos, and there are several different looks, then we'll have a video, and uh, then you'll be able to take pictures and do all of that. So without further ado, let's get, uh, you guys want to see uniforms? All right, let's do it. Modeling the Gophers' solid maroon and solid white combination from Chicago, Illinois, senior wide receiver Brandon Green and senior linebacker from Dallas, Texas, Keenan Cooper. Showing off the maroon and gold combos, senior defensive back from Dallas, Texas, Troy Stoudermeyer, and senior quarterback from Indianapolis, Indiana, Marquise Gray. Wearing the white pant combinations, senior from Edina, linebacker Mike Rollis, and junior offensive lineman Ed Olson. Of course, Ed is from Matamida, Minnesota. And the last combo of jerseys, the white jersey combinations, senior tight end John Rabe from Iowa Falls, Iowa, and from Arlington, Dallas area, Ben Perry, sophomore defensive end. These are the white jersey combinations. And, of course, they will uh, be matched with these helmets. Uh, Keenan Cooper, one of these helmets is yours. Go ahead, and we want to see what it looks like with the helmet. If you want to slip one on, could you do that? I'm not sure which one is yours, but we'll, uh, we'll take a look with the helmet as well. He's got the maroon on maroon on maroon now with the helmet. Take a little step out. Showcase yourself a second. All right. Now we'll get a little player reaction, and uh, we'll start with, how about the quarterback here, Marquise Gray, number five. One other neat thing about this, there's a couple of uh, neat things with the gold uniform combination with the gold top. If Marquise would just turn around a second, you'll notice there is no last name of the player. It's, every jersey will have the Minnesota on it, so that is one of the unique aspects of the gold jersey. What do you think when you saw these? Uh, 
for, for them to tell us that uh, this jersey has so much history to it, uh, I thought I thought it was a great idea to have uh, Minnesota on the back and the brick the bricks that represent Memorial Stadium. Uh, I thought it was a good a good job for our program to have it have these on our jerseys. Do you have a favorite combination? Uh, my personal favorite would be the all white. I like that. <laughs> And that's Brandon Green. Let's talk with him in the all-white. What do you think of the all-white? It's awesome, man. I love these all-white jerseys. What, uh, when did you get to first uh, lay eyes on these uniforms? Uh, where was it, like a Monday when we got back? We came over here, took a photo shoot, and made a video of it. And you liked them? Yes, love them. And um, as game day approaches, we'll ask Troy here, as game day approaches, there's, I think, eight different combinations that you guys can use. How will, do you know yet how you'll decide which game gets which uniform? Uh, I have no idea. I hope we find out in game week, so waiting on that to happen. Now, you got some good news uh, aside from the uniform that you'll be back in uniform next year. There was a time where we weren't sure whether you'd get to wear these uniforms. How, how, uh, when that news came in, what was your reaction? Uh, it was a lot of stress off of my shoulders, you know, uh, waiting on this. Um, I was talking to my coach, and he was telling me to enter the draft was Friday, the deadline, and I still haven't heard anything from the NCAA, but when he called me with the news, I was very excited. And, of course, for those that haven't heard, he has one more year of eligibility. He'll be back in uniform next year. <laughs> Ed Olson, Matamidi, turn around one, see how big those numbers on the back are. As a, uh, as a radio guy, I can tell you the last uniforms, they were fine, but they were hard to read, and uh, so hopefully we won't have any misidentifications on TV or radio. Uh, what was your thoughts, or what do you think about these uh, uniform combos? I love them. They're, they're awesome. Now, uh, as a Minnesota guy with all the tradition, and you've seen all the different uniforms either in person or in pictures, uh, these seem to fit right in with that? Yeah, they're perfect. Uh, they look good on all of us, and I think it's going to make us play a lot better. So the uniforms will make you go a little better, huh? All right. Ben Perry's the youngest of the guys up here, so I think you'll get three full years in these uh, uniforms, right? Yes, sir. And what uh, is, in terms of uniforms allowing you to, to, to look and not only look better, but does it, does it make you play better? Yeah, it makes you play better. It makes you feel better. I mean, when you look good, you play good. Now, one of the other uh, neat aspects of this, and you'll get a close-up look of this, is uh, in the maroon lettering, so on the white and on the gold, and, and you need a close-up uh, as these guys have parade through here. It's a brick design uh, as an honor. It honors the old brick house, Memorial Stadium. And so that is uh, one other neat aspect. Also, uh, the new uniforms debut the new larger lettering and numbering design. And uh, they use the number four from the 1940 National Championship team as a guide for all of these different looking numbers. You can see uh, that's the four, and then they use that font with the rest of the uniform design as well. And it was uh, designed by Nike, and the Nike rep, the Nike designer that crafted these uniforms is Josh Iverson, and he is from Rochester, Minnesota originally. So uh, he grew up here in the state of Minnesota, and I think his father might be here. Is his, fa uh, his father here someplace? They told me he might be. Uh, here, but if so, uh, he he designed these uniforms as well. And then, uh, as you see, uh, we mentioned the Minnesota on the back of the gold uniforms. If you two guys again want to just turn around, Mike and Marquise, it's not the last name; it's the uh, the uh, state. And then on the uh, collar of each uniform on the back is embroidered Sky U Mon. It's a newly uh, redesigned on the on the collar, and then of course on the back of the helmet as well with that and the helmet. As we saw Keenan have on earlier, has the darker uh, matte. It's not the shiny finish with the helmet. So uh, those are just a few of the uh, neat things. We have a video now to uh, watch, and then uh, we'll move on with the program. So there's TVs. Some of you may have to turn your heads to see. There's also some TVs up there. This is a, a video produced here locally. I'm ready. Come on. Feel it coming in the air yeah. And the screams from everywhere yeah. The only thing that's on my mind Is who gonna run this town tonight We are, yeah I said it, we are This is Rock Nation Pledge your allegiance Hit your fatigue song All black, everything Black cards, black cards All black, everything And I come the town And I'm trying to get back I gave nothing
Ki! 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 All right, one final chance. If some of you have, uh, I know the, some of the reporters and photographers, both TV and, uh, and print photographers, as well as if you have your cell phone cameras or what have you, I'm going to step off stage here. If you guys just kind of want to come to the front, we'll face that way first. To the front, no, still on the stage, but uh, to the front of the stage, and you know, these guys can get some good uh, photo opportunities here for folks. Everybody good with that? We'll have you guys turn around now so we can get the backs. These uniforms will debut on September the 1st. The Gophers are in Las Vegas to take on UNLV, and then they'll debut here at TCF Bank Stadium. The home opener is September the 8th. That will be against New Hampshire. And now a side profile, guys, to uh, get the, uh, the side of the pant with the uh, lettering and the uh, TV numbers. They call those numbers on the shoulders, which the last uh, design did not have uh, numbers up on the shoulders. All right, guys, good job on that. You guys, these guys can kind of mill around here for a little bit, and uh, I think at some point they might even uh, be able to sign a few things if you want, but uh, if you want to get some pictures, that's fine. In the meantime, the head coach of the University of Minnesota, Jerry Kill, is here. We'll have him come up briefly here to uh, chat. You guys can take off if you want, kind of off that way. Yep, we'll exit stage right for the guys. The brand-new Golden Gopher uniforms. Coach has been on the road for almost two st solid months, right? Coach, tell us a little about how this offseason has been going for the Golden Gophers. Well, it's been busy. It's nice to see our players because I've, I've been on the road recruiting. So, uh, But uh, things are going well. Just got off the road. I apologize for my dress, but uh, I flew comfortably on the way home. So, uh, But uh, things are going well and, and looking forward to uh, next week and, and then getting the opportunity to uh, uh, be back in with our, our players and uh, – I am very proud of them. I'll take this as a good time for me to, you know, we're recruiting new players into the family, but these young kids here and many others that are working out did a tremendous job of, uh, you know, not everybody sees the insides of the program, and this group was part, I believe, is a 3.1 GPA, and I think there's like 60, 67 or 68 kids over a 3.0, and that's a big difference from a year ago. So, Yeah, that is good news, certainly. Um, as you get wind down now, we're down to the final, what, about 10 days in recruiting, maybe even just less than 10 days now. Uh, well, I guess about 10 days. The, um, you're not only recruiting guys, uh, guys that have committed, trying to keep them on board, trying to find a few last-minute prospects. It's busy, right? Well, it is. I mean, I, that's actually what I was just doing before I came over here. But uh, is uh, committed nowadays means you just start recruiting them. So uh, it's, uh, you know, you never know until the day comes on signing day. But I, I, I think things are going well. I've had the opportunity to be in, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of homes and visit with a lot of kids and make sure that we, you know, we're, we're a little, we'll never bat 100%, but we're certainly trying to bring the right young man to come in and, and help us continue to move our program forward and join these young men in the process. These young men working hard, and I know you've talked a lot that uh, really the backbone of the fall is this time of year right now. 
Well, there's no question about it. We, we had a meeting on Monday. Uh, I stayed uh, here locally, and, and we had a team meeting, and I walked in and showed them a video that uh, where I was at before, and uh, people had done a documentary of how we turned things around, and I showed it to the kids, and then uh, we gave them the book Uncommon, uh, Tony Dungy, uh, uh, one of ours, uh, and uh, we're going to be reading that book together as the offseason goes, and I told them we're going to be different uh, than everybody in the Big Ten. And we are different, you know, and uh, uh, we want to, we're going to talk about that, discuss that. But I could tell when I walked in the me- meeting room, it's a whole different walk than it was a year ago. And, uh, and I know I just talked to Coach Klein before I came over here to get the report. And, and uh, a lot of these guys are involved in that. He said, it's, he said, you know, we've come back a whole lot different. He says, I feel like we're in much better shape. And he said, I really think we can take a step forward here in the off season. And we're doing some things differently in the off season. And a lot of competition and, and team captains, et cetera. It's, and uh, so it's going to be interesting and, and looking forward to it. Last question for you. What do you think of the new uniforms? Have you seen them yet? You've been out recruiting? Well, here, here's my philosophy when I was, Andy goes, yeah, you got to get over here to the press conference. I said, about a uniform? I said, when I, when I was playing, we were lucky to get a pair of cleats and a T-shirt. And I said, we got these guys modeled now. But I will say this. The only thing I look at there as far as the, the most important thing is what's inside that uniform. And we need to recruit some guys that look like those guys. That, that, you know, what goes inside the uniform is the difference between winning and losing. So that's what I'll work on. I'll let the players worry about what they wear and all those things. And as long as they play good, I really don't care, you know. Sounds good. Head coach Jerry Kill, thank you. We appreciate it. And that's the program for today. Uh, news reporters, media folks, uh, Coach Kill will be available here quickly for a Q&A, as will some of the guys. Thanks so much, and go Gophers.